Here's the situation. You're one of a group of contestants entered in the popular TV quiz show, Mathematical Millionaire. The contestant who wins the competition will receive one million dollars and a lifetime supply of jelly beans. You've reached the final round, winner takes all. To decide who wins, the contestants are set a difficult multiplication problem. The contestant who solves it first will become a millionaire. You have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 999 times 99. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into three columns. Because the first number, 999, has three digits. You also have to subdivide the box into two rows. Because 99 has two digits. You end up with a box subdivided into six smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the six small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 999, along the top of the box, so each digit lines up with a column. Write 99 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart, but you can't use a calculator because that's against the rules on Mathematical Millionaire. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with the box in the top right-hand corner, although we could start anywhere if we wanted to. 9 times 9 is 81. The 8 goes above the diagonal and the 1 below. Now, I've just noticed that all the other boxes can be filled in in exactly the same way, because they all involve 9 times 9. So let's fill them in with the answer 81. That's the great thing about this method of solving multiplication problems. 999 times 99 looks a horrible problem, but this method simplifies it so it can be solved quickly and easily. That's step two. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, one. So write one directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 1, 8 and 1. 1 plus 8 plus 1 equals 10. Write the zero below the diagonal and carry the one across to the next diagonal. Again, 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Write the 9 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. Again, 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. Write the 8 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. Finally, 1 plus 8 is 9. So write 9 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. 9, 8, 
nine zero one. Nine hundred and ninety nine times ninety nine equals ninety eight thousand nine hundred and one. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not a contestant and multiplication millionaire. Nine hundred and ninety nine times ninety nine equals ninety eight thousand nine hundred and one. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the multiplication guy.